Are you guys really sending Benju again? Oh no, well, we got us those Arcarus together with holy hands while them joining in all festive oh, the shoulders are so festive we got chicago and i fox gonna have to be going for Savinju. getting the hunter's mark in there Venture with thorns up really early gonna be i fox getting the flate shot in needs to back away from the feral whenever they can still trying to break through the flesh guy gonna put him on ice for just a second get himself a heal gonna be a drinking out of Venture, which could put him in a bad situation can i fox could maybe get some big damage in Venture definitely has defenses in there that's gonna be a chimeric poison onto Venture. As Ifox looking to get him away, he's just looking for a break in here. That's going to be the stun. Vinju taking a bit of damage. Barks it is up, but looks like he still has himself a big heal. The dodge just catch up to Ifox. Yo, Vinju, you got some illegal bleeds in here. What are these things? What are those? What are those? Quick. Rebuke by Holy Hands is our next Vinju. Hit him with a stun. Bear from his up. Vinju is actually perfectly tanked up. It's going to be a hodge of his yard. Wall is up for Vinju as they're just trying to live through the bear, through the burst of a paladin into a cyclone. Holy hands. Does he burn any cooldown here? The only thing he could really do against Cyclone, I think, is bubble. I don't think he could bop it, but I think he can bu a bubble. Does get Vinju out of stealth. I was about to say, like, did that Divine Storm actually get him out? I think Divine Storm did it with the Wake of Ashes. Either way, Vinju out in the open. Thorns are up. Holy hands better be really careful. Got himself Shield of Vengeance for the Thorns. Hodge and Vinju as a low. The Shield of Vengeance is going to pop on him. Vinju could be in bad trouble right now. Does the Shield of Vengeance pop at all? It does pop as he gets low. Does get a quick roar into a heal immediately. As Vinju looking for that reset. And Holy hands almost had himself the biggest burst in. If only one of those things crit. Well, the Shield of Vengeance had a big crit pop. But I think it would have been in a good spot. Holy hands is playing the wreck recklessness or wreck or a wreck so they are going to stack up damage over time as they get crit by vinjum which furrows are quite a bit about clee crits as part of the rotation or to an extent i think for, at least for pve because they've got more common points out of it but with all those dots all those things a lot of little hits a lot of little small abilities they could generate a lot of crit at least to party members. And I think Holy Hands has himself the big blazing wings. He's ready to go for wings anytime. Gonna be a flesh cut up for Vinju. Holy Hands should be able to chop right through it. Maybe one more Templars potentially he does get through the flesh cut catches up a little bit of healing while they're at it stun into vinjo trink inside of it immediately. Holy Hands does not have wings for now but maybe can save up those wings for next full wings and hodge. Could potentially turn around. Vinju is back to healing. Thorns are up. Holy Hands better be extra careful. Hopefully they're running Holy Hands the Talent in order to get himself a little bit extra survivability. Still using his shrink, using a human Rachel to shrink it out of that stun. Gonna be Vinju with a quick cyclone as well as some regrowth. No more flesh cut for a while. So Vinju doesn't have to will not be able to get himself a big defensive yet. Holy hands. I don't know what the situation is on the sip pick up from the Kyrian Covenant, but might be able to still have that bleed removal tool. Gonna be a stun onto Vinju. Flesh cut is definitely gonna pop. Shield of Vinju is gonna pop. Didn't do enough damage. Vinju with a bar skin and a massive healing just recovered all of it. Bubble out of Holy hands. It looked like Holy hands was the one doing all the damage, but Vinju set some massive bleeds on it. So by the time Holy hands was done with their birds, they looked at their health and thought, oh, I am in trouble. I need to bubble this immediately. That is the power of a feral druid as a necro. You can just put like the biggest, meanest bleeds on somebody. Maybe Holy Hands. Did Holy Hands not have wings that go? Wait, maybe something happens here. Vinju just oh, Vinju just go down. The man does drop. I thought Vinju lives forever. Seriously, after the last duel, I thought Vinju just lives forever. Cubix is going to be up next, getting a quick slay onto the paladin as the paladin was drained of everything. Most likely still with four barons taken on them not letting a quick blessing of protection get applied to them archer is getting hit with a kidney shot by the rogue as he empowers his ghoul there's going to be a lot of extra damage you see get the armor of the dead cubics has evasion trying to avoid the apocalypse and apocalypse is eventually going to hit him archer with the ibf use it really early but a blind comes out cubics starting to go for a door shot is, does back up out of there for a second and that's going to be a quick shot of behind lopping looking for the full reset he's still dotted he still got swarm on him and I think he's actually spraying the dot to everybody's party. Akra is getting hit with the kidney shot. Cubic's taking a bit of damage. No more evasions. And that's a big A-bomb cleaving at you. Oh, just kept looking at the A-bomb through the face. Just kept striking back to back. Eviscerates. Just had to do what he got to do. Wild Dim got himself a very offensive look. Good to be up next. How you doing? My man. I love Wild Dim, dude. I miss that boy. Full flesh cut up. He's got himself the pet spinning to win. Might be able to get the rogue out. I don't think he picked up eyes. Wait, did he? Wait, I think he did pick up eyes. Wait, did he? Wait, the pet knows exactly where he's at. The pet is chasing after him. Wait. Or oh, did he just guess? 
Or did he just guess? Because he didn't pick up eyes? How would he know? How would he know? I don't understand. What? I don't get it. That worked up eyes. And there he is. The pet charging in, getting a charge in the cube. He's getting the rogue out of cell. So rogue. Most likely he's playing Kyrian, so he doesn't actually know he's flagellation, so he has to be playing the crit build. Double Felguard on him, actually just tearing the rogue up with the Decimate Bolt. Tyrant is up next. Cubix looking to get one shot, and that was the second stun as he shot himself to the rogue. Cubix super low in hell. Oh, 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 That stun as the rogue shot himself was so perfect. It was just picturesque, and Wild Dim just completely decimated him. They had to use Dark Pack really, really early, but that was just a flawless victory. With Kuro's gonna be up next, sending the pet in, they're gonna be the turn evil. And while they fought Kuro's before, although this map might be a little better, I think the other map had more line of sight, more kiting opportunity for Kuro's. Gonna be a trinket as the Hodge comes out. Kuro's might be in trouble. I mean, while they might be in trouble. Blessing of protection for Kuro's just to get out of the stun. While they taking a lot of damage, while it was used, does go for a port of the gateway. Trying to get a fast cast of Kuro, of, of Fear onto Kuro's while the Obelisk is up. The Obelisk does give him faster casting and the pets a faster auto attack speed. Gonna be Kuro's kind of out in the open. Decimated bolts flying. Is he gonna be in good, in good shape or is he in trouble? Looking to back up out of there, using wings in order to keep himself afloat. Wild Dim so far has been able to survive that full wings open or burst. Kira is trying to go for fears on the pet. Whenever the pet is feared, he cannot do much. Because the pet can't go for a stun. Although as Kira attacks Wild Dim, the pet does take some of the damage that Wild Dim takes. So maybe that fear can be broken to damage. Kira's getting hit with more decimated bullets. The pet's still rushing at him. Wild Dim better be extra careful going for a flesh cup just to make sure that they catch up in health. Wild Imp with a full flash cut. Dark Pack was used. Has Wall in case things really go bad. Tyrant not going to be seen enough for 30 seconds. But we are seeing a stun. As well as a second Felger joining in. Curious, as soon as he sees too many pets out there, he actually backs up and goes for a full recovery. And maybe Curious is also trying to get some cooldowns back together. It is going to be Wings next time he attacks the pet. So might be able to get a lot of recovery in here. If he's playing the talent where he gets faster hodges as he spends holy power, then maybe going back behind the pillar and going for a couple of those uh, Word of Glories. Not a bad idea. Playing the tanky legendary with the Guardian of Ancient Kings. I am surprised, but that was his big defensive right then and there. You don't really get much value from the Word of Glory. Bubble available for Curious now. Could be in trouble for Wild Dimp. If Curious says, whoa! He popped wings, and I think he was trying to make something else happen. First global should have been a bubble every time. Riley is going to be up next, trying to make the void eruptions crash around Wild Dim. Hits him with a silence, but that's going to be a pet stun. Quick trick out of Riley. A Wild Dim got himself a big shield. I'm not really sure where that shield is from. Is that Dark Pact? Whatever gave him a big shield. Or maybe just Fleshcraft remnants of that are still on him. Stun onto Wild Dim as they do burn a wall. Riley trying to max out as much damage as possible. Going to be that intro by Wild Dim with Mortal Cold, trying to get a tyrant up and running. Do they have anything else? Stun onto Riley as he thought Riley was going to walk. Actually, end up stunning the Shadow Fiend on top of him. Going to be the Dark and Rachel to remove all the dots, but it's going to hit him in the fear. Riley's actually super low in health, stunned around the corner. I think maybe it's Shutter and Shadow, and Wild Imp actually ends up taking him out. Wait a second. Wild Imp with three kills. Let's go, boy. Wait, was that a Feral that left? I think one of the Ferals didn't get to play on Team 1. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was such a good duel. I love watching that one. Alrighty, boys. Let's see who do we have available. If Mikey is ready, maybe uh, Bald is ready.